And there we are, back again with another episode of Let's Play Splinter Cell Blacklist. And we get to the game, uh, to the play part right away. So, uh, last part I died, pretty unfortunately. So it put me right into the start of this, uh, you know, the film set or whatever that was. So I figured, uh, you've seen this so many times, I um, wouldn't... let you suffer from more so yeah i'm in the foyer headed out of the building sam there's a security gate on your exfil route through the gardens you should be near a security control room access the terminal inside and we'll override the doors all right no problema oh uh, well could be a problem yeah and that's why we skip this part and ran right into here so let's override let's hack let me take a look and see what it lets me access oh nice all right i got this sam just give me a minute and i'll open up an exit for you grim where are we with exfil still working on it Shit. what's happening we've got even more reinforcements inbound charlie you need to move faster i'm working on it any word from the iranian military that's what's odd. Channels are clear. We keep it internal. To avoid embarrassment. You still need to get out now, Sam. You're dealing with Iranian special forces and you're out of time. Talk about timing. All right, you're clear, Sam. Security gates are open. Okay. On my way. Keep so, working on how I'm going to get the hell out of here. I'm going. <laughs> What's that, a boss fight? Oh no, bad idea, son. Bad, bad, bad idea. Oh, I hope this works. Okay, um, Houston, we might have a serious issue, go away, thank you, uh oh, okay now we have to be very very carefully, very very, okay, got him as well, what a Good proximity mine that was. Very, very good. Reinforcements coming in, Sam. Where are we with Xville? Briggs is en route in a van. Briggs? We'll fight about it after he gets you the hell out of there. Meet him on the far side of the exterior garden. Um Hmm. There's one, there's another one. Come close. Yes. In your face, son. Yeah, come look after your partner. Yeah, closer, closer, a little bit closer. God damn. He had to fall down the stairs, hadn't he? There's hostiles between you and the van. Or between me and the van, and the van is only fifty meters from there, and there are docks as well. Ate it. Thank you. Can I drop? Yeah, I can. Okay. Well, we gonna try this with the proximity mine. Can you please fucking explode? You damn proximity mine! Damn it! 
damn freaking proximity mine. God. Well, the proximity mine should have worked. I. Reinforcements coming in, Sam. Where are we with Exville? Briggs is on route in a van. Briggs? We'll fight about it after he gets you the hell out of there. Meet him on the far side of the exterior garden. Oh, classical. That's a good shot. Yep, that's right, I just got my headhunter. Woohoo! Well, at the start of this mission I said I'm gonna be non-lethal, right? Well... <sighs> that was a lie. I can't. I just can't. Where's the dog? Still missing the dock. Okay, well. Try this one. Can the other one come closer, please? Don't want to waste my proximity mine. Proximity shocker right there. Should work. Work. God damn it, work. Damn proximity shocker. Really? I missed that? Really? I was on target and I missed it completely. Oh, I gotta run through this for faster. Briggs? More fast. Running wild. Run, thank you. Missed that one. Can you please die? Thank you very much. That was a whole magazine for one guy. Because he refused to die. Even though his snoring is annoy as annoying as fuck. I'm gonna put him to sleep. Well, how? Oh, I missed him! Well, that's an excuse. Get the freaking dog away from me, thank you. I need to go. Yeah, yeah, shoot as much as you want. I pretty damn well hope you are coming for me. Well, that wasn't a kill, so I expect... Come on, come on. Okay. People with shields. <sighs> well, they put those into heavy armor who can wear it, who can lift it, but not the ones who are actually qualified enough to deal with it properly. 
Well, yeah. that's what I think. Well, same goes for a special up suit in my case, I think. Oh, that was the last one? Am I out? I'm out! Hit it. UAV shows a dozen plus vehicles racing to your position. We just freaking did it. Another wave of enemy vehicles closing on you. Uh, can you find a way around them? The only way out is through them. What do you mean? Bring in the drone lower. Radar will pick it up. That's the least of our problems. AGM missiles online. Negative. Repeat negative. I'll trace it back to the US. Grim! Weapon hot on the UAV. Grim, I hope you know what you're doing. Well, then we gotta kill all of them, right? Vehicle is down. Enemy vehicle is out. Hostiles eliminated. Another SUV down. Oh, this is fun. Enemy vehicle is out. Hostiles eliminated. Shit, we're getting noticed. I mean, I'm not so great with Farsi, but Iranian military bands are lighting up. Won't be long till their air defenses are deployed. I'd like to go over there. Hostiles eliminated. Hostiles eliminated. Vehicle is down. Pursuit vehicles are jammed up. You're Woo I'll see you back on the plane. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We did that. We blew them up. We blew them up. Blew them up. Okay, enough of this. People died. <sighs> that was not the stealthiest approach. <laughs> I'm not playing this for stealth anyway, so... Give me my money, money. Give it to me. Our account balance has been updated. <sighs> not bad, not bad. So there we go. I know that an unauthorized drone strike was there was no drone strike. There was a very unfortunate drone malfunction. Of course. There is a reason you're on that plane. I need you to be my eyes and ears on this mission. I am, Madam President. Not if I can't trust you. Come on. You couldn't have been expecting a thank you. You would have done the same thing in my position. Gambled with the war to save your life. I did what I did for the sake of the mission. Guess the president's not the only one with a good cover story. The data we found clears Iran of any involvement with the blacklist. That's list. not my point. I know your point. You think I made a bad call, just like Briggs did in London, right? The decisions we're forced to make are not always black and white, Sam. They just can't be personal. Really? Then lead by example. We both know damn well you'd risk everything if Vic's life had been on the line. Vic has nothing to do with this. He's the only reason you're on this plane. Whoa. The only thing you value more than the job? The team. Grim. Thank you. You want to thank me? Talk to Briggs. We need him if we're going to pull through this one. Hey, guys, that tracker on the chemical weapon? It's almost on US soil. Okay, so I need to talk to Briggs. 
And I need to call my daughter, right? Yeah, I need to call her. It said I should do this after every damn mission. So, I will. Hello? Dad? Hey, I just wanted to call see how you were. I don't know, scared? The blacklist thing's ticking down, so people are going nuts. Everybody's hiding in their basements. Well, there are worse places to be right now. Are we going to war with the Randad? Because that's what everybody's saying. Well, kind of depends on the president, how fast she reads what Grimm sent her. Did you guys? No, I'm not going to ask. Good. <laughs> oh, before I forget, Uncle Vic sends his best. He's awake? You talk to him? For like five minutes before they put him under again. He's... He's in a lot of pain. But he said to tell you that he'd be back. And that you owe him a beer. Yeah, that sounds like Vic. Yeah, it's good to hear. But hey, sweetheart. I need you to do me a favor, okay? Stay home tomorrow. I... I will. Good. Dad, I... I wish I could tell you, but I can't. But do this for me, please. Oh, what a loving and caring person he is. Okay, thank you for this episode. See you on the next one. GLHF, bye-bye.